Cervical cancer is relatively common in the United States. Um, here in this country, approximately 11,000 women are diagnosed each year with cervical cancer, and 3,800 die each year, again, in this country. 70% of cervical cancers are due to types uh, 16 and 18 of HPV, and that is really, pretty groundbreaking to be able to relate uh, the human papillomavirus to a type of cancer. Women can do uh, quite a few things to help prevent uh, HPV and cervical cancer. One of the most important is getting their pap smears annually per the standards and guidelines that are out there. And the other really important measure that women can take is to obtain uh, the vaccine. There are a couple vaccines out there to help prevent, in particular, some of the high-risk HPV types. Patients often, after having their first pap smear, will uh, say to me, oh, that's it, because they've envisioned um, a much more negative experience, they've anticipated a negative experience. Our clinicians at Planned Parenthood, I'm very proud to say, are very good at helping our patients be as relaxed as possible and giving them tips so that the pap smear is done in a comfortable manner. Looking at the different healthcare disparities that we see day in and day out in our clinics, probably the number one that comes to mind is the financial disparity. And in particular, in the economic times that we have now, with more people losing their jobs or having jobs that don't provide healthcare insurance, um, that disparity is becoming even more clear. Um, so when people uh, don't have access to insurance or can't afford it, um, that often keeps them from coming in for preventive care and for screening, such as pap smear screening. Well, if somebody either doesn't have insurance or can't afford this care at this time in their lives, uh, we don't turn patients away. We're there to help patients have access to this important health care and be able to come in and get the care that they need. Preventive health care annual exams also provide an opportunity for us to provide education, to assess if there are some risk behaviors or decision making going on with that patient, and give them the education and knowledge they need to make healthy decisions for their lives.